everyone! In this video, I'll show you how to set up Blurp and customize it to best fit your stream. And if you're a new user, Blurp is a universal extension that works on any streaming platform. We let your viewers donate to play sound memes on your stream with money or channel points. Before we get too far in, let me show you real quick how Blurp works on stream for your viewers and what the difference is between our universal extension and Twitch extension so you can choose the best product mix for your stream. There are two primary ways your viewers can use Blurp. The universal extension and the Twitch extension. The universal extension is indeed a browser extension that your viewers will need to install from your panel. Once installed, viewers will be able to access Blurp from an overlay on any platform like Twitch, Kick, and YouTube. Viewers will also be able to play Blurps from your own personal Blurp page. When a viewer wants to play a Blurp on stream, they just need to search here for the right Blurp and then choose which currency to redeem, either Blurp Beats or Blurp Channel Points. Beats are our version of Twitch Bits. Users will purchase our currency, and here we'll take a 10 to 15% cut depending on the package discount they choose. When users redeem their beats to pay to play a blurb on your stream, you'll get 100% of that revenue. Which means that you'll be getting around 40% more revenue than you would using a Twitch extension, which we think is pretty great. Beat payments are handled through PayPal's HyperWallet. Blurp channel points are also just like Twitch channel points, except ours will work on any platform. This means your multi-streaming viewers can earn channel points anywhere you are and redeem them there. The Twitch extension is downloaded from the Twitch extension store. With our Twitch extension, viewers will get a native mobile experience on Twitch and will be able to play sounds with bits or Twitch channel points. Blurpy recommends using both the Universal extension and the Twitch extension if you plan to multi-stream on Twitch and another platform. Setting up Blurp. First, sign in and create your account. You'll then land on this page. Click Set Up here. Here, you can decide whether you want to use Universal extension, the Twitch extension, or both. I want both! Depending on which extensions you selected, here you can pick which currencies you want to make available to your viewers. You can also select default prices. It's easy to make different blurps different prices too! If you selected the Twitch extension, you can install it here. Once it's installed, come back to this page and click next to activate the extension. We recommend activating it as a component. Here you add the blurp browser source to your broadcasting software. Make sure to enable control audio via OBS and select monitor plus output. Now that you've gone through the setup, it's time to make some sounds available to your viewers. You can add sounds one at a time from the discover section, but for the best experience, we recommend enabling Blurp's custom library. To do this, just click add the library. Blurp has a custom library where you can decide if you want to add any additional sounds that may be a tiny bit annoying or not rated E for everyone. You can also decide how light or heavy the sounds are by moving the slider. You can even make those pesky sounds more expensive to use. Might keep your viewers from trolling you too much. Now you f***ed up! You have f***ed up now! Once that's all set up, we'll continue to add new and trending content according to your preferences to make sure your content is always fresh. You can also return to this screen anytime and adjust your settings. Twitch channel points. With Blurp, you can have over 50 plus channel point rewards. To get started with Twitch channel points, click here. Here's how you can make a channel point reward a sound redeem. First, you'll click on new reward. Then, you'll look through all of the options here and pick one that you like. Oh, well, pardon me, Mr. Perfect! Click the plus sign, add it there. Now that you have your channel point choice added, you want to go to your Twitch channel point panel. Go to Manage Rewards and Challenges. You'll want to add and manage alerts. So now that you've added your new reward, you can see it's right here. 
And then, if you go to your Twitch, you can see it's already added. If you'd like to do further customization, you can go into the edit button. Here, you can change your title, change the examples, and even change the channel point cost. We also let you assign multiple sounds to one reward. We call this Blurp Buckets. Here you see you have an empty bucket. You can add a blurb below, choose as many different ones as you want, and then you can change the percentages of the chances of the sound being played. We're just gonna add a couple of blurbs here just to show you an example. Here you see all the different blurbs that have been added. Here you can change the weight so you can see that this has a less chance of playing. So you wanna make your more annoying sounds the ones that have the less chance of playing. You can change the odds here underneath the weight. You can also go in and change the volume as well. Or if you decide you don't want this one anymore, you can just delete it. There you go. You could also change your cooldown in minutes. You could change the limits of the amount during stream and you could change the channel points it costs for it. Then you create your bucket. There you go. Lastly, you can assign a blurp sound to other channel point rewards. Walk-on sounds. Walk-on sounds are personal entrance sounds for your viewers. Your viewers can submit a sound for approval or you can assign a walk-on to your favorite streamer friends or VIPs. If you stream to Twitch, you can make walk-ons a subscriber-only feature. To configure which viewers can submit a walk-on sound, head to the walk-on sound portion here. From your dashboard, go to walk-on settings, view walk-on settings. Here, you can choose your cooldown, the subscription access, and if it's disabled or enabled. Don't forget to enable it. Then you can click this button if you want to do more customization depending on your viewers. Once active, viewers will then be able to submit their walk-on sounds via the Blurp extension. Once submitted, they will show up here in a viewer list for your review. Here is where you can choose your walk-on sounds for your viewers. Click here. Click on all viewers. Choose the viewer that you want to add the walk-on sound for. I'll pick my friend Mo Lady Sith. Click on assign walk-on. Here, you can choose a sound. Let's choose the Homer laugh. <laughs> the walk-on sound has now been assigned to this user. If you change your mind, you can easily delete it here. Suggestions. Suggestions let viewers submit sounds to be approved and featured for your stream. You can create a webhook to get notifications in real time for suggested blurps, or we will send you an email when there are pending suggestions ready for your review. This is a great way to get blurps your community create approved on your channel fast. You can find your suggestions here under settings. They'll show up here if you have any. Here's your webhook settings. Here is where you can choose your notifications. If you'd like to add a moderator to Blurp as an editor, click here. They will have full access to block lists, remove and add sounds, approve walk-on sounds, and suggestions, and change all Blurp settings. First, you go to Settings. Go to Streamer Settings Editors. Go to My Viewers. You want to click on the filter and choose All Viewers. You can either type to search a username or you can pick from the list here. We're gonna go back to our friend Mo Lady Sith. Right here, you have the opportunity to add as editor. Now, Mo is an editor. You can easily remove as an editor as well by clicking here. Curated library. Here is where you'll find the curated library. The cool thing about the curated library is you can change the prices of the beats or the channel points that you use. Say you want to redo this sound. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. Right here you'll see it costs 100 beats or 300 channel points. Let's make it a little bit more expensive. There we go. Or you can make it less expensive. Here you can see with the library, you have all sorts of different sounds. Sounds with cursing, sexual sounds, prank sounds, jump scares, and all of the others. You even have blocked categories. So you can block copyright tags, you can choose ratings for keywords, and then you can go here and you can change this little slider from no content, light content, 
or heavy content. Then you can click on this little drop down here for the price multiplier. Say you want to make these sounds cost just a little bit more. Do this little drop down, click on here, and there you go. Now those sounds cost just a little bit more. Did you know you can add animated emotes to sound redeems? With Blurp, you can now add animated emotes to sound redeems on any platform. So here, you go to alert customization under your streamer settings. Choose which one you want to edit. Change your alert type to emote memes. Then here is where you can add, you see your little preview here, and you can choose whatever you want. If you'd like, you can even click here and customize it to whatever you want. It's so great! Blurpy can't wait to see what you choose to do. Here's how to set up Blurp AI TTS. Go to settings here. Click AI TTS. Go to text to speech. Go to view and add voices. Once you're here, you can select the voices that you want enabled. You can search through all the voices here or click more to discover even more. We have over 50 plus voices to choose from. If you can't find the one you're looking for, you can request a new one here. There you go. Thank you so much for using Blurp. If you have any questions, you can reach us on Twitter anytime. Blurp. This is Blurpy. Have a great day.